Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Um, had a good day today. Cut some grass. Um, it was a good day, but I'm making this video because there's things that are just blowing my mind. I'm following a bunch of forums, right? A bunch of forums. Hold on. My leg is itching me. I'm following a bunch of forums, okay? Or I've signed up, I'm sorry. I signed up to a bunch of forums. Um, they're investing groups, um, finance, financial groups. Um, and I, I sign into it every day to, to, because I go on the forums and people are posting like their portfolios, like what they have in their portfolio. And it, it, so it gives me a chance to see all the stocks that are out there. You know what I mean? Because the people, when they post what's in their portfolio, it's stocks that I never heard of. You get what I'm saying? So I write them down or I take like snapshots, you know what I mean? And I go and research them later and I find out like, like, damn, this, this stock price, you know, and this, and then that one, this one's good. This one sucks. This one's like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? So that's why I mainly joined them to learn and to know about all the different type of stocks that are out there. People are buying and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So since I signed up to them, um, I don't know how long it's been since I, my, when I first signed up to them, but I've been with them, I guess for about a month now, I guess. I don't know. And, um, like I've, it's blowing my mind of what people are doing. Um, because I read the book, the intelligent investor, and it shows you that the standard investor, um, buys high and sells low. And that in fact is the wrong way about going about approaching the investment world um you're never gonna make money buying high and selling low like imagine buying high and then selling low like that just means you lost the money you know what i mean when you buy high and you sell low you sell low like what the fuck you lost money because you bought it at the top of the hill and then now it's at the bottom and something told you to sell so you now you lost all what you bought you know what i mean when in fact it should be the opposite you know what i mean so i'm noticing in these groups that i'm in a lot of people are posting and everyone's buying so high it's like the book is very revealing that i read all the books that i have and buy each book refers to another book that's why i love reading because reading um it's so 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 much different than TV, than watching and learning, watching a biography, watching reading is so much different because it allows you to think, it stimulates your brain, and reading also provides secret. It also provides secret material for the reader. Not too many people will pick up a book and read, you know? So that's what reading gives you secret material especially if it's written you know a long time ago like, like in the 20s like the intelligent investor um that book is still um the principles of that book are still used today for any investor so i mean nothing has changed since the 20s since the 1800s since the 1700s the same principles back then are are still used today when it comes to buying and selling stocks and bonds, you know? So, I mean, I, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. In that book, it says that what is required is a fourth grade level math in order to invest. Um, and not only that, but you need to understand and know what formulas there are to compute and figure out the ratios you know what i mean there's different types of formulas that are already there they're laid out for you you can find them anywhere and some are provided in books um and you use these formulas to calculate um to see the financial strength of companies and all it requires basically at a glance because you don't necessarily have to 
use the formulas um, but if you the formulas actually gives you a real sense um, other than just reading the 10 K's and 10 Q's I'm pretty sure you guys know 10 K's and 10 Q's 10 Q's are the quarterly reports of the business and 10 K's are the annual um, statements of the business and um, if you just read those and glance through to them without any you know um, calculations you could still get by um, by just reading them you could still make a killing by just reading them alone if only if you understand what you're seeing you know what I'm saying um, but I finally got to that point where I understand what I see um, but I still love the fact to that I can record and calculate and find out you know it just blows my mind because it shows me with how the company uses their money it shows me how much they make with their money you know what I mean so that's what I like doing and um, but back to what I was saying with the with the groups you know so many people um, I noticed and the book talks about it all the books talk about it it's so crazy it, and these people are doing what the book is talking about you know what I mean and it's 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 like so crazy you know what I mean it just blows my mind the people are basically buying high you get what I'm saying I personally will never buy a stock that is popular I will never buy a stock that is popular just because it's popular word of mouth you know I would never buy that I would never buy a stock like Apple for crying out loud you know what I mean Apple and Facebook and Google and Amazon is the hottest stock there is right now. You know how much that costs? Amazon it costs nineteen hundred bucks. I think it's two thousand dollars almost. It's one thousand and nine hundred dollars for a share. If you wanted to own one share, of Amazon, it's nineteen hundred bucks. People are talking about Amazon and Apple and Google and and Netflix. Netflix is you know how much Netflix is three hundred dollars to own one share. Like, would you really want to buy? one share of Netflix like what the f like that's it just blows my mind because why would you pay $300 especially if a company pays you in dividends dividends is what like you know when you get you, like you know when you go to work and you get a paycheck every week those are dividends basically from a company <laughs> for for an investor that's what a dividend is when a company pays you but you don't get paid every week, you get paid every quarter. How many quarters are in a year? There's four, you know? So every um, three months, there's a, a quarter. So, um, uh, or every every four months, there's a quarter or something like that. I forget, I, I'm stupid right now, but <laughs> but um, that's what dividends are. Dividends, you get paid every quarter. So back to what I was saying, I would never like, pay $300 to receive like seven cents a quarter like that just doesn't make sense to me you know what I mean why, why why would anyone pay $300 to get back seven cents a quarter when you can pay $17 and receive 17 to 18 to 19 cents per quarter like what the fuck why would you pay $300 to get seven cents when you can pay $17 and get fucking 19 cents for $17. You know, that's just, I mean, this is what I tell you in the book. This is what it says. Investing requires a fourth grade level math understanding. Like, like investing is very simple. It's extremely simple. People just make it too complex and they go for the highest number. People like the highest stock people like the highest price they see the highest price because it tells them it shows them that the price is increasing if it's a thousand dollars like oh man it's increasing so ah <laughs> let's buy this thousand dollar stock when there's so many other stocks that are that are doing the same thing as that one you know what I mean <laughs> it's doing the same thing as that one but it's at a much lower price and it's not popular so people don't people are people are like Fuck that, you know what I mean? The, the company shit. Look at the price, $17, company shit. But this is the crazy thing. People aren't reading the, the annual reports. That's why they think those companies are shit. 
because they don't know about that company. They don't know what they do. They don't know what their product is. They don't even know what they're making every year. But they sure as hell know Amazon. They go use Amazon every day. You know, they know what Netflix is. It's on their TV. They watch, Every night they watch Netflix. You know what I mean? So these, these, these are why people pay these high prices because they're so popular. You know, like Walmart. Walmart is like 90, almost $100 to me. That's still, that's considered for me. Like, that's a lot of money for me. For a stock, like 90 something dollars. The limit for me, I guess, would be 100 bucks. Almost 200, I guess. I would say 200 would be the limit for me. I wouldn't go anything higher than $200 per share. I would not buy. I don't care if I knew it was going to be. I'll probably buy one share if it was like 500 bucks. And I knew in the future it was going to be like a million dollars a share. You know what I mean? Like, or, or like $5,000 a share. I would only buy one share and just let that compound on its own and just forget about it you know what i mean just to have that as a you know just to have another stock under my portfolio you know what i mean just that'll probably be the, the the first one i'll cash in you get what i'm saying so like i mean it just it blows my mind how people are investing you know they do it solely on popularity and up trends trends that are just going up they don't care about the fundamentals they don't care about they really they, they 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 don't care about data. Data they do not care about. They just care about the stock prices if it's just going up. You know what I mean? And the moment it goes down, whoop, I'm out. Cat I sell. Like that's just stupid, man. It's just I mean, I don't want to judge anybody, but like that's the wrong way to invest. There's so many more th th things to know, you know, and you find out those things through books and it's just that's why it gives me so much comfort. The things that I know because the books is what teaching me. I'm not learning from these groups. People in the group always asking like, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about that? Like, I would never like say what I think about it because then I would get hated. You know what I mean? If I, if I told people like, you know, don't buy that stock. That stock sucks. Look at its earnings. They're making, they're not making money. They're not even making cash. They would just be like pure hatred against me. Like, Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. It, it was at ten dollars yesterday. Now it's at fifteen. Like, <laughs> like it's just, it just just blows my mind. Like, because like the stock price and the upward trends, the uh, the trends that just go up and up, and the price just keeps going up and up and up. Those you should not base if you're gonna buy it or not on that, because those are deceiving. They're they're they're, they're deceiving. A company in debt can just be going up and up and up. So just as much as a good company with positive earnings can go up and up and up. The difference is to understand how it's going up, why it's going up, what they're doing to for it to go up. You get what I'm saying? So you can't just uh, invest on those charts, on those trends, and upward trends and downward trends. Even the trends that are just going down are probably the better bet than finding a stock that's just going up and up and up, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, it just blows my mind, man. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. People would rather pay 300 bucks for seven cents a quarter when you can pay fucking $20 for 24 cents a quarter. Like, that's so much money you're getting back. The price you pay determines your rate of return. You pay less, you get more. You pay more, you get less. Like, that's what the book teaches you. You know?